All right, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PowerPoint video with embedded pre-recorded audio. So I'm going to insert an audio file into the presentation, and then I'm going to record the slideshow as a video with that pre-recorded audio so that we get a professional sounding finished product. Now here's my slides in PowerPoint. I've already created all the slides. As you can see, there's about 40 odd slides in this presentation. And of course I could record the narration live in PowerPoint, but there's two reasons I don't want to do that. Firstly, it would mean I had to have my script pretty much correct off the top of my head, which is completely impossible for me. I need to be able to start and stop and do things which is much easier in separate audio software than it is in PowerPoint. And it's gonna be much easier to edit the audio track separately than it would be to edit the finished video. And the second reason is that audio software is going to give you a better audio quality than PowerPoint, which is not really designed as audio recording and editing software. Okay, so there's my slides as we see, and I've already recorded my audio in Audacity and we can jump to it there. And there's the audio track. I've already done various things to improve the audio. I've done noise reduction. I've done some equalization. I've done normalization and a bit of compression. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube to give you sort of top tips for improving your audio quality. And it's very straightforward. Although Audacity looks quite clunky, quite 1990s, um, it's actually easy to use and it does a very good job. Of course, there's plenty of other audio software programs available. Um, you may already have one. You may already have something more professional that you pay for. That's great. But there's a recorded audio track. Now I'm going to export the audio from Audacity and I'm going to export it. There's export as a WAV file, WAV there. Now the reason I'm recording I'm exporting as WAVE rather than MP3 is that I've had problems with my PowerPoint videos in the past with the audio juttering and jittering and I've spent many hours looking on the internet for why this might be and one of the reasons put forward is that the WAVE format was developed by Microsoft and Microsoft programs tend to prefer their own kind of homegrown software um, rather than external software such as mp3. So I've already saved it as an mp3 file. This particular audio file took about three minutes to save. So I don't want to show you that on the video. And if we go into my files there, we can see the mp3 file that I created before as a demonstration is 15 megabytes. The WAV file is 105 megabytes. So the, the WAV audio format is a much larger format that's about eight times larger than the MP3. So you're gonna need quite a lot of disk space to do that. However, the finished video comes out the same size, whichever format you use. So it doesn't really matter from that point of view. Okay, we're now gonna insert that audio into our PowerPoint presentation. So we go into the first slide there. We do insert audio, audio on my PC. Okay, it's come up with the two tracks. It doesn't tell me what size they are. So let's just whack in size so that I can know which one to pick. There's the big one, the wave one. So let's pick that one that we do insert. It sticks it right in the middle of your presentation. So let's move it out the way to the left. Now there are two important things that we now have to do. If we go up to the menu here, we see play across slides. We want to tick that. And we also want to tick start automatically. Okay, so we're ready, almost ready to record our PowerPoint video. There's another thing that the internet advises us to do at this point, which is to optimize the audio for PowerPoint. So we go into the file menu and there we see on the info, the first option is optimize compatibility. So I'm going to click that and it does its thing, whatever it's doing and it's usually fairly quick. So I keep my fingers crossed that this is going fairly quickly. 16% now, come on, 
And just as an aside, while this is doing this, as I said, I'm recording the audio in Audacity. I'm also recording the audio for this um, video in Audacity, though I'm using Filmora to do the screen capture. And the reason I'm recording it in a separate program is for the same reason. I want the better audio quality that you can get from Audacity. And I'll edit the two together in Filmora. Right, that's us completed that. So we can close. We can go back. And now we're ready to record the presentation. So we go to Slideshow. We do Record Slideshow. Record from the beginning. This is a screen it gives up. And when we're ready to press record, we're going to click on the red button here. And we're going to advance the slides when in the audio we know to advance the slides. So we're recording the audio against the slide. Right, so let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome to creating a Udemy course. I'm Ross Maynard, and I've just started creating courses in Udemy and in Skillshare. And I've done a separate video on Skillshare, should you wish to have a wee look at that. If you're starting to make courses for the first time, then I would suggest that Skillshare is an easier place to start. It's much more straightforward putting a course onto Skillshare than on Udemy, as you'll see in this video. Probably takes about two hours on Skillshare. I would say it's probably double that for Udemy. There's a lot more screens to go through and a lot more boxes to fill in, as we'll see. So with that in mind, let us get started and move on. I'm assuming here that you've already made an account in Udemy so that you're ready to get started. I'm not going to cover it. All right, we'll stop there because we're not going to narrate all the slides just now. But you can see that um, I'm advancing the slides when it's ready for the next slide and that's recording the audio against each slide. I will come out of that. I'll just show you. There, there's the, there's the timings against the slides and obviously that would be all the way against the finished slides when we're ready. And so we're ready to um, export as a video now. Um, we're ready to save this as a video. So we go into File, we go into Export and we click Create Video. And then we click on that. And we tell it basically where to save it when it comes up. Okay, and there we go. I'm not gonna click save at this point because I, as I say, I haven't finished the audio there, but that's, that's how to do it. And it will take quite a long time to save, by the way. It probably takes about a minute per slide that you have to convert to video. And that's all you need to know, really. That will have created an MP4 video file with your pre-recorded narration against your PowerPoint slides of a good quality, ready to save onto YouTube or Udemy or Skillshare or whatever function that you have it for. Okay, so thank you very much for listening and goodbye. I hope that was helpful.